newcomers. Indeed you must go, for it will be impossible for underscore us underscore to visit him if you do not. You are over scrupulous, surely. I dare say Mr. Binley will be very glad to see you, and I will send a few lines by you to assure him of my hearty consent to his marrying whichever he chooses of the girls, though I must throw in a good word for my little Lizzie. I desire you will do no such thing. Lizzie is not a bit better than the others, and I am sure she is not half so handsome as Jane, nor half so good-humored as Lydia. But you are always giving underscore her underscore the preference. They have none of them much to recommend them, replied he. They are all silly and ignorant like other girls, but Lizzie has something more of quickness than her sisters. Mr. Bennet, how underscore can underscore you abuse your own children in such a way? You take delight in vexing me. You have no compassion for my poor nerves. You mistake me. My dear, I have a high respect for your nerves. They are my old friends. I have heard you mention them with consideration these last twenty years at least. Ah, you do not know what I suffer. But I hope you will get over it, and live to see many young men of four thousand a year come into the neighborhood. It will be no use to us, if twenty such should come, since you will not visit them. Depend upon it. My dear, that when there are twenty, I will visit them all. Mr. Bennet was so odd a mixture of quick parts, sarcastic humor, reserve, and caprice, that the experience of three and twenty years had been insufficient to make his wife understand his character. Underscore her underscore mind was less difficult to develop. She was a woman of mean understanding, little information, and uncertain temper. When she was discontented, she fancied herself nervous. The business of her life was to get her daughters married. Its solace was visiting in news. 